Hey there, Aaron here again. I am still in Vancouver. And uh, if you look behind me, there's the one of their arenas, one of their sports arenas. It's called BC Place. It's where uh, the White Caps play. It's their football and their soccer. It's a new one. They got a retractable roof, which is pretty pretty unbelievable. Anyway, I'm here for uh, to talk more about the psychology of being a singer. And this one here specifically is uh, pro, not perfect. Pro, not perfect. That's what I want to talk about. I want to start out with a with a quote from David Grohl. Dave Grohl, you may know who he is. He's he was the drummer for Nirvana a long time ago, but now he's uh, Foo Fighters lead singer, songwriter, guitar player. And he said this. He says a lot of people from my generation of music are so focused on playing things correctly or to perfection that they're stuck in a safe place. So I want to talk about that idea of of wanting to be perfect and that idea of like, oh, this has got to be perfect, of that being a stuck place of never really moving forward, okay? Um, the, the best example the, the, where I coined the phrase pro not perfect was because of this story right here. So I, I did my master's degree. I talked a little bit about that. I did, I did that at Princeton, I, their, their divinity school. And I, the, the, my master's thesis was called Adolescent Boys' Use of Music as their healing lament. Okay, so I spent about a year working on this thing with a couple of different teachers and rewriting and rewriting and doing all that stuff. And then um, I really wanted to publish this because why not? I wrote this thing, I spent all this time, I wanted to publish it in an academic journal and some of my professors were encouraging me to do so. So uh, there, was, there, was one, there were a couple of different journals that I really wanted to have it submitted to. One was called uh, the, the Journal of Religion and Health because they did... Um, their whole thing was psychology, spirituality, and medicine, and that's kind of where this article, wh what it was all about. So anyway, I graduated college, and the way I had formatted it was a lot different than they needed it to be formatted for me to send it to them. You follow on tracking with me here? So there, there was this tedious process of changing all the formatting of this paper, and, and I just kept avoiding it and avoiding it, and I'd do some. And I had this idea that I just had to get it perfectly formatted so that when I submitted it, this thing would get published. Uh, so... I put it off for two weeks and four weeks and I'd work on it a little bit and a couple more weeks. After a few months of that, I was just like, forget it. I just packaged that thing up, sent it in an envelope with the disc and the, the hard copy and sent it in. And I didn't, honestly, I didn't even have any ex expectations because I was like, it's not even right. I just want this out of my life and off my desk because it was like taking up the bandwidth in my mind of like, ah, oh, I got to do this thing. I should do this thing and blah, all that stuff. So I just finally, it was about 80% there and I just sent it in. So about a month or two later, I get I get an email from the Journal of Religion and Health, and they said, uh, you know, we made a few edits to to this, no doubt, uh, formatting edits. <laughs> we made a few edits, but we want to publish this thing, and it was the first th first thing I got published, and so it was a big realization for me at that moment because I found that in so many different areas of my life, I was waiting till I got something to perfection before releasing it or before letting people see it or before, you know, as a singer, for you it may be, oh, I want to get my voice not perfect, but I want to get it more perfect before I sing in front of everybody. But really that what's going on, there's something going on in the background and there's a fear of, I don't want anybody to see that my mistakes or I'm afraid to put myself out there at all. So I'm just going to say, oh, no, I'm getting it perfect. Oh, no, I'm getting it perfect. But this becomes a really stuck place where we're, we're playing not to lose rather than playing to win. Playing to win just says, you know what, I'm going to get it at 80% and I'm just going to get it out there and get it done. And this is, I, I attribute this principle, me and my business partners for Superior Singing Method and all of our other businesses, I, I attribute that to a lot of our success. It's just like, okay, this thing's, uh, this thing's good enough, let's go. And we're not doing like crappy work and just sending it out. That's the idea of pro, not perfect. We're not looking for perfection because we'll never produce anything. We'll never release anything. We're just going to get it to a professional level and just be like, let's get this out there. Let's get some feedback. We can make some tweaks along the way, but let's, let's get this thing out there. So um, we're not stuck in that place of fear. So basically, I just try to get something towards about 80% ready, and then I just release it. I get some feedback, and I can make some tweaks and do that kind of thing. So pro, not perfect, but get out of that stuck place, that racket of saying, oh, I'm just tweaks and tweaks and tweaks. Release that thing and get get some things out into the world that can provide some service for people so that you can start reaping the benefits of that. So anyway, if you, um, if you want to learn how to sing, sorry, it's kind of loud out here. I'm hearing a lot of construction, but if you want to learn how to sing, click the link below. Um, I click the link below or, um, or up here or up here. <laughs> and, uh, 
And that, that my number one favorite vocal exercise that, that I, I use every, not every day, but I use when I do my vocal exercises, which is most days, I use that exercise. And you'll find all other kind of great resources with Superior Singing Method and all my mini courses and bundles and all that stuff um, that'll help you learn how to sing. So I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you, hope you enjoyed some of Vancouver here, and I'll see you in the next video.